Hello? Hey, Stinky! I just thought I'd let you know I've taken your advice and I'm going to have a green Christmas. Yeah, that's right. I've only gone and bought an eco kettle, haven't I? So all I want to know from you is when I can get some other eco products made. An eco kettle? Well, that's right. Saving the planet, isn't it? It'll take more than a plastic kettle to save the planet. Do you know, this Christmas, over 125,000 tonnes of plastic will end up in the bin. In Britain, we will generate 3 million tonnes of rubbish. That's the equivalent weight of 400,000 double-decker buses. You're a miserable bugger, you are, I. Up to 40% of festive food will be wasted. Turkey foil wrap alone will generate enough waste to cover the whole of Suffolk. Christmas should be about spiritual matters. There's no pleasing you, is there? Look, I'm pleased you're trying, right? And I don't want to discourage you, but let me give you an idea of what I'll be doing this Christmas, right? I'm going to be serving a completely homegrown dinner. Organic, humanely reared turkey from a local farm. Veg from the allotment. Hey, me and the kids have even made our own Christmas crackers. What about a solar-powered nostril hair trimmer? I've seen one of them. You're just not getting it, are you? All right, all right. Give me some advice then, oh wise one. Okay, if you want a green Christmas, just follow some basic principles. Number one, buy local. You can get organic veg from a local grower, meat from a local butcher. You can even get stuff from the farmer, from the local farmer's market. Number two, recycled or reuse stuff. Many designers are working with recycled materials to make anything from furniture to jewelry. And three, ethically sourced. Why give a Christmas gift that is being produced through other people's misery? <coughs> it's no bloody use. I took your advice and now I got nothing. Nothing. Not a sausage. Except for this solar powered nose hair clipper. Christmas is about shiny new things like it was in Jesus's time. The wise men didn't come to Jesus and say, look, we've made you a rocking horse out of recycled cricket bats, did they? No, they said, we've got you some nice shiny gold. We've got you some fresh frankincense. We've got some myrrh. What is myrrh anyway? Well, it's, uh, look, never mind that, right? In Jesus's day, they didn't have a, a, a vast amounts of pollution or the very real and imminent threat of peak oil. Is that a sheep I heard in the background? You're not up to your old tricks again, are you stinky? I'm on the allotment, getting veg for my Christmas dinner. You see, if you want to make a difference, you've got to put the effort in. Effort? You've got to be kidding. I've got to start my shopping all over again because of you. Well, have you thought of a goat? Don't drag me into your sick little fantasy world. You can buy someone an, an African goat. So you suggested I buy my Housebound snob of a sister and her sneering, ultra-competitive husband, a dirty, stinking goat for Christmas. Not only that, you were suggesting that I go over to Africa to get the bloody thing. What am I, Richard Attenborough? You do it online. So they send me the goat by email? No! Look, you pay a charity and they give the goat to a family in Africa. I mean, isn't that what Christmas is all about? Helping people who are less fortunate than you you can even get an acre of rainforest. Look, I want to actually give them something. A real existing thing that they can rip the wrapping paper off on a cold crisp Christmas morning. Not an acre of bloody rainforest. Just go home and look online. You're bound to find something. The good stuff is out there if you're just prepared to put the effort in. Get back to your sheep, stinky. Excuse me, I couldn't help overhearing. What? Hey, Stinky. Hey, just after you hung up on me, I had this brilliant idea. It just came to me in a flash. Do it all online. <laughs> I got my sister some jewellery made from recycled glass. I got some designer clothing made from fair trade cotton, and I got a wine rack made from wood from a sustainable forest. Well done. Good on you, Pat. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you too, my malodorous friend. Hey, um, <coughs> I got you a little something too. <laughs>
<laughs> Is that Oxfam unwrapped? There's been a mistake. A big, big mistake. <laughs>